the Russian invasion of Ukraine has prompted nations around the globe to look for ways to punish Russia. The latest sanctions targeted disconnection from the SWIFT banking system announced by the EU, US and UK leaders. But what is SWIFT? SWIFT stands for the Society of Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication and simply put, it is a messaging service that financial institutions use to transact or speak to each other. Over 11,000 in fact, in more than 200 countries. Need to pay for a shipment of oil? BankX in Germany sends a code via SWIFT to BankY in Russia and the deal is done. So with world leaders uniting to remove Russia from the system, what does that entail and what comes next? It means that selected Russian banks will be disconnected from other global banks and won't be able to transact. Or in other words, Russia can't get paid for their goods. That will disrupt importers, exporters, government activities and regular business transacting for many in Russia. Used alongside another fresh suite of sanctions, like limiting the Russian central bank's ability to circumvent sanctions and establishing a transatlantic task force to make sure these and the other agreed upon punishments stick. And world leaders believe this will impact Russian President Vladimir Putin's ability to finance his war on Ukraine. But this doesn't mean Russia is completely cut off from any kind of payments. In fact, both Iran and North Korea still do business, albeit with more difficulty, after both nations were also blocked from SWIFT. Some, like Fitch, say that Russia could still go the old-fashioned way of telegraphic transfer. Others point to alternatives, like using the payment system in China, cryptocurrencies, or any other non-traditional means available. There could also be unintentional consequences, like a further erosion of the US dollar as a global reserve currency for trade. Disconnecting Russia from the global payment system also means international lenders to Russia won't be able to collect. So it remains to be seen just how significant a blow removing Russia from SWIFT will have and what impact that could have elsewhere.